Okay. Good morning, scientists. Hi, students. Good morning. Well, it is week two of digital learning, everybody. Um, we are all navigating this together, and here we are doing our week two science video for you. So we want to talk about things that we've noticed from last week and what is coming up this week. And so we're each going to tackle a part of that. First, something important that we've noticed is that a lot of students have been going directly to Google Classroom and not to the Hub Calendar. And it is super important that you go to the Hub for our class, exact, actually for all of your classes, because that is how we are taking attendance for every class. So you must go to the Hub Calendar. That is the format that we are using for science. We are not posting everything on Google Classroom. So if you only go there, you are probably missing a lot of science work. So what you must do is first you must go to the hub and you are going to click on our digital learning page. Okay, students? So when you go to our digital learning page, it looks like this. And hopefully most of you have been there already and you know what it looks like but it looks at like a format like a calendar and what you're going to do is you're going to find the date for today so if we're talking about monday today you'll see that you're going to go to the six and there's a link there you click on that link and it will take you down the page to today so you notice it says monday april 6. this place students is where all of your work for today is Okay, so you're going to see there's a message. There is a resource to help you and then your tasks. Today your tasks are to watch the Science Teacher Week video, which you are doing right now. So good job, task number one is complete. Your task two is your main task for today. It is the speed word problems. And then it tells you what you need. So students, if you are here on this page, this is exactly where you need to be every day. Now. What is important is that you have a whole week to do all the tasks. You should be doing one each day. And then on Fridays, your science teachers are going to put in the grade for everything you've done for the week. Every day you get points. And at the end of the week, we add up all your work. We put it in Infinite Campus. And then students, that work goes away. The deadline is Fridays for all of your work. And once that comes, we erase everything for the week. Okay, students, now this week, our last day is on Thursday because there is no school on Friday. So on Thursday this week, we are going to be posting your grades for the work this week. Okay, if you have any questions about that, please email your science teachers. All right, now sixth graders, Miss Betty just talked about how there are tasks for the week, and there's a task every single day. Now, there are four different ways and four different platforms that you can find our task on that you have to submit to. So every time you have a task, you will find it on that calendar. Now, your task might be a Google form. So if it's a Google form, at the end of the Google form, you have to hit the submit button. If you do not hit that submit button, we cannot see your score. Now, what's nice is after you hit that submit button, you should should be able to view your score as well so right away you know how you did on that google form now most of the assignments that we have are formative work which means as long as you complete it you will get credit but if it says graded assignment or summative then we are grading it for um like for it having it be correct as well not that it's just done the other few ways you can do it is an ed puzzle now ed puzzles when you finish the video that's how you know you are done so again, you have to watch the whole video and you have to make sure you answer all the questions. A few of you did a great job and you said like something happened with my Ed Puzzle, it stopped halfway through, you emailed us and that was great. So if that happened, just let us know, email us, we can see your progress. Another one we have is a brain pop. And we only did one of those last week. For a brain pop, at the end, it is gonna ask you to, to submit it to your teacher. So please make sure you do every task on the brain pop and then again, submit it to us so we can see it. Now we can see when you do one of the tasks in the brain pop, but again, you have to do the full assignment to get credit for it. So please make sure you finish it. And finally is Google Classroom. Now we use Google Classroom all the time. When you are done with something on Google Classroom, you have to hit the blue turn in button on your sheet or we do not know you did anything. So even if you did the whole assignment on Google Classroom and it's a Google Doc, we don't know you did anything unless you hit turn in. Now, if any of this is confusing to you, watch this video again or email us or ask a friend, okay? 
All right, students, so let's look at this week. So I'm going to go back to that science planner page. <clears throat> and if you look at this week, you'll see that last week, March 30th through April 3rd, is all crossed off because work is expired. So that is what both Ms. Batty and Ms. Sackett have talked about. At the end of the week, we grade your stuff and then we delete it from Google Classroom, we unlink it from this calendar, calendar page, we expire it. Uh, we don't want things to be super confusing and having a ton of assignments for you and what is due and what's expired, so we're just taking it away. So for this week, you can see our topic of the week is gonna be speed and our objective for every day. I can use distance and time to calculate speed. So this is what you started April last week on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So on Monday the 6th, you can see down here that you are gonna practice speed word problems. So last week on Wednesday, you did a brain pop that introduced you to the topic. Tuesday, you watched a video Ms. Stackett made, and then, or sorry, Ms. Betty made with our text packet. And then uh, Friday, you did a practice calculating speed form with Ms. Sackett. So this video is here for you if you need reminders on that. Tuesday, we are doing a graded speed problem. So you're gonna gather all of your resources on speed because this one is now graded to see if you are correct as well as are you doing it. Wednesday, then, you're gonna have a reteach or an enrichment. So at the end of the graded speed word problem, you are gonna get a score out of four. So that's what it says right here. If you received a four out of four, you are gonna choose the enrichment. Just like in class, if you did not get a four out of four, you choose the reteach. If you get the enrichment, but you wanna try the reteach just for extra practice, you totally can. And then there is an optional Quizlet that is a part of the reteach for the enrichment kids because what you can't see on Thursday, April 9th, is that there will be a speed summative test. So all of these things on speed lead up to our Thursday day of having a speed summative test. So scientists, that is what is coming up this week. Those are the reminders to always go to that planner page from the hub and how to turn things in. Like Ms. Betty and Ms. Sackett said, please keep those emails coming. Join our help on Google Meet because there's no school on Friday this week. It is Thursday from 1 to 3 p.m. We hope to see a bunch of you there. Bye, scientists. Bye. Bye.